Hi, I'm Dan Hoff, CEO of Honeystick, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about troubleshooting your Phantom. Our team here at Honeystick is devoted to bringing you some of the highest quality vaporizers, but in the event that you have any trouble with your vaporizer or it's not working up to par that Honeystick usually delivers, we want you to watch this video, run through the troubleshooting checklist, see if there's anything you can do to fix it with our tips, and if not, Give us a call and know that Honey Stick is going to make it right. So let's go through the Phantom. Now looking at this unit, it might not look like an ordinary unit because it's my personal limited edition Phantom. It's got carbon fiber trim, especially engraved handle, different metals on it. And if you guys think this thing is cool, leave in the comments below that we should make this unit available to you guys because I'm personally enjoying this one. So. You get your Phantom out of the box, what is the first thing you need to do? You need to charge this unit because we don't ship our units fully charged. So to charge this unit, you're simply gonna open up the little magnetic hinge, which is also your squeeze action handle. You're gonna open it up, you're gonna see a little micro USB port right there. You're gonna plug that, plug in the cable that we provided for you, and get it on a wall adapter. Now I tell people not to use Apple or iPhone adapters because Apple makes their electronical connectors to work best with their devices and sometimes our units will not get a full charge off of it. So I would use any wall adapter except for an Apple to make sure your device is getting a full charge and is holding a charge. So a lot of people let us know that they're not getting, that it's not working. We ship our units locked, so you have to click the, click the button five times rapidly to get it to fire up. And when you see it blink, and then when you push and see the light, the LED light come on, that means that your unit is now unlocked and ready to vape. And then you simply push and hold the button and you inhale. So what if your unit's still not working? Well you have to make sure that you fill your cartridge. So a lot of cartridges come pre-filled from dispensaries. And this is actually our ELF cartridge that we sell, which is also compatible with the Phantom. So you see it's pre-filled. So what you would do is screw it onto the magnet adapter since it's a short cartridge, you want to use the tall magnet adapter that comes with your Phantom. And then you would simply drop it in. So some people don't attach the magnet tightly. If you don't attach the magnet tight enough, you're not going to have an electrical current passing through the cartridges to give you connection problems. Don't over tighten it, but make sure it's on a good hand tight. Then you just take it, you drop it in, and you push and hold. You can hear it fizzling already. So you know that that is in good working order. Now, some people say that they put the cartridge on and it's still not working. There's very, very rare cases where maybe your magnet rubbed up against a rare metal and got demagnetized. So if you feel that when you put your cartridge in there, for some reason the magnet isn't, you know, you hear it click and pull down. If the magnet lost its its uh, its strength and you don't feel it pull down and click into place, then what I tell people to do is quickly, you know, just just the kit comes with two magnets. Is simply switch magnets just to try if your magnet got demagnetized. And a lot of times that has worked in our customer service. So that might get you up and running, and then get in touch with us to get get a, another magnet. So let's say you try that and it's still not working. Well, a lot of times it's not the unit's fault, it's the cartridge's fault. So what I suggest people do is if you have another cartridge lying around is to get that on the magnet to see if that works or take the cartridge that isn't working, try it on another vape battery you have laying around the house and if it's still not and, and if that cartridge turns out to not work on other batteries then it seems like the phantom is fine and you just got a dud cartridge and you have to go back to your dispenser see what they could do for you about getting that replaced in exchange to one that works 
So let's say all these things fail and you're still not up and running. Now the way you test to see if it's the unit, well sometimes you could charge it for two and a half hours on a wall adapter and the unit's not turning off. If you're not getting a light on the battery after you have unlocked it, you know, then it seems like there could be a problem with the unit and we're gonna want you to call us. If there is a light, but the unit is not firing, a way to test that is you get your dab cartridge that came with the kit. Now when you, you unscrew the top piece, you're gonna see that you have those two little quartz coils on there. And you take your longer magnet and you attach the quartz coils to the longer magnet without the top on. Then you take your Phantom and you make sure that it is on the highest temperature setting, which is four volts, which is the most amount of power. And then you drop your unit down and you push and hold. And then if your unit is working properly, they will soon turn red. As you can see, it's starting to turn red. And then if it turns red, that means there's no connection problems in your unit and it's able to fire and it's really just your cartridge. And then to take it out, you just put the top in there, screw it on and excavate the cartridge. Now, a lot of people have called us up and say that the, the, the dab cartridge is not lighting up. Well, if you've been using the dab cartridge, those do need to be replaced occasionally and you can order them on our website. Like any coil, they do burn out over time and with use, or if you overpower them, or if you're using your dab tool and you poke the wrong, you know, poke too hard and knock one of the electrical coils out of place, then you would need to order a new one. We sell replacement dab atomizers on our website under the vape tank section of vapehoneystick.com. If you've tried all these things and exhausted all the options and your unit is still not working, get in touch with our live chat support or give us a call on our support line so we can make sure that your Phantom is back up and running in good working condition. Now, please, if you like this cool Phantom, if you have any questions, get in touch with us, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel. You can even tag us in pictures on Instagram and you can qualify to get a $10 gift card off of our website or purchases. So please get in touch with us. Vape responsibly. Check us out on vapehoneystick.com. Thanks for tuning in, guys.